All right, so we just came off the stampede, and uh, this is the Tech River. And thankfully, there's no reason to be nervous. Um, pretty sure that this was the river that kept. Famous last words. Yeah, right. As you almost fall through the ice. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the river that kept uh, Chris from crossing back. And uh, at the moment, it looks pretty tame. They say uh, that Dry Creek in Healy is a good indicator of how the river is flowing. And uh, it was bone dry when we came. So uh, I'm thankful. So we're going to cross. All right, and just a little update. I spoke too soon. <laughs> this is the Tech River, and it is definitely more intense than the Savage, uh, and it looks deep. And we get to cross this, and I don't know if you noticed, but see the snow in the background? Its water is cold. Not like cold in a good way. It's cold. All right. Wish us luck. All right. So we're still on the same side of the tech, <laughs> and uh, and uh, Sean fell in. So. We built a little wire or a little fire here, and uh, we're drying out our clothes. And uh, we've decided we're going to give it another try. Uh, water is deep, and it's cold. Yeah, it's very fast. Uh, yeah, it's very fast. So uh, this is where we're at, and uh, hopefully we'll let you know in a little while, and we'll get across okay. All right, well, Sean is uh, back at the first river crossing, drying off. We got a fire going, and uh, we're looking for another way across the tech. Um, I went up into some woods because a little bit earlier we saw, I don't know, an elk or a caribou, some big four-legged animal uh, cross the river pretty easily. And uh, granted, his legs were about six feet long, but um, Animals tend to be smart, so hopefully there's a little bit easier crossing up here. Uh, looks like people have made camp up here, and uh, there's some ATV tracks. Uh, it's amazing what ATVs do to the land. They, I mean, it just tears it apart and makes it difficult to walk on the trail. Um, but I came up through this forest here, I'm about a half a mile upstream, and uh, I came across these, and they're pretty fresh. Um, they look like they were within the past hour or so. Those are definitely grizzly tracks because you can draw a line straight across the toes without touching the claws. And uh, from what I can tell, he's a big boy. And I don't see tracks coming back. So hopefully he took another route. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to head down here and we're going to see if, uh, if we can get out an easier way or get across the river an easier way. And there's no nice way to say this. We are not getting across anywhere further upstream. So uh, we're going to have to head downstream to one of the places we already saw. And uh, we're just going to have to be careful about it. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I, uh, you know, I went out here with a little bit of bias against uh, Chris McCandless. Um, you know, I, I'd like to fancy myself a bit of an outdoorsman. And uh, this has been a hell of a trip. And... Uh, if this river is low right now, uh, I can understand how you could get stuck out here. And it would be the right decision not to try to cross the winter, uh, to cross the river if it was cold. I mean, um, I don't know. It doesn't look like much, but it's deep and it's fast. Uh, it's easily up to our waist, and you can see the snow along the edge. Uh, it is not fun. And maybe, if you look just hard enough, you can see Sean way off in the distance, trying to dry his clothes. Oh, it looks like it's out of focus. All right, 
<clears throat> enough dicking around. Uh, we got to get across this river. See you on the flip side, hopefully. Alright, uh, here we are back at the deck. Uh, an hour later, I made it across. Uh, Sean did not. He didn't fall again, but uh, it was tough. I mean, it was up to my waist, and that water is moving fast. So, what we're doing right now uh, is we're going to try to swing a uh, zip line across. He's going to go back to camp and at least he'll provide me with a way to get out. So, I'm going to tie uh, I think from that tree up there over to that stump there. And it's a heavy thing, it's not going anywhere. And then uh, we'll just leave it, you know, in case anybody needs it. Uh, it's an all weather rope, it should hang up for a while. Uh, but I, I don't know if you can get any kind of grasp of how fast this river is moving. It's treacherous. I don't even know what to say. Uh, I, uh, I almost lost it and went in. So, Alright, hopefully we get them across. Hmm. Alright, so here we are two hours later and uh, I'm still across and Sean's not. We set up a zip line, uh, or at least a guideline, and Sean's about to try to get across. Uh, I haven't told him yet, but I think the water's a little deeper over here, so hopefully he makes it over. Hopefully he doesn't lose anything. Um, he has the stove, which I'm really worried about because that means no more hot meals for us. Uh, so here he is on this side. the line he's going to cross. You can see where the creek kind of comes down and it pools here. So it's calmer, but I, I suspect it's a little deeper. Um, but then it picks up again over there. And again, the water is just really cold, really, really cold. So worst case scenario, you know, if he gets swept away, he'll be clipped to the line, but if by chance he gets swept away, he'll be able to get out right there where it gets really shallow. So it seems seems relatively safe in the grand scheme of things, so we'll see. Okay, and here's Sean coming across right now. It's looking pretty shallow actually, what the fuck? Oh, excuse the language. Hate you. you hate me? You are going to look back on this video for the rest of your life. Alright, I gotta I gotta get off this. He made it. I'm gonna help him. Oh.